Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and it's my confused pleasure to inform you that Steam sells Footlol Epic Fail League. Ah, great. Internet the video game. Or, more accurately, 9gag the video game by the looks of it. Why on earth is this on Steam? Once again, we have a case of Steam abjectly lying about the release date of a game. This is happening a lot more. It is indicative of much poorer quality control and giving control to developers and publishers that they can't be trusted to have. This game actually came out last year. The release date on both the front page and the store page indicates it came out yesterday, which is absolute nonsense. It didn't. What is it? Hard to say. It appears to be a mixture of football and worms and obnoxious and brought to you by Lionshare, published by Herocraft, who are actually going to be responsible for a 40k game quite shortly. So I am looking at you. I'm keeping an eye on you. Don't bugger it up. Also, someone ejaculated on the screen. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Let's have a look at the options menu. Um, okay. Well, that's not true. This game is currently running at 1920 by 1080. The game thinks it's at 80, 800 by 600, which is completely inaccurate. So I don't know what's going on with that. We have the most stylized and what? That? Huh. That's the graphics options. That, that is a, it's a line. <laughs> it's, you can, this doesn't mean anything. There's no hover over or anything like that. I don't know why you would make that the graphics options. Apparently there's two options. Pixely crap and slightly less pixely crap. And the sound bar has. Wow, it's got all of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven presets, one of which is off. Well, that's high quality. Alright. How do I get out of it? Do I press exit? No. That. Uh, that no, that, uh, that stops the game from running. Brilliant. Just brilliant. What you actually have to do is click this again. You know, escape being the logical thing that you would press in any PC game ever. But now, Well, there's an I in the corner with three dots. As in, I have no idea why I developed this game. Let's press the button and find out what happens. Oh, it's credits. Okay. Well, that's lovely. I... this is of no use to anybody. Alright. Let's try it out. Again, I'm kind of curious. Already, I've got a bad impression because of the absolute mess that the options menu was, and of course the name of the game just being the worst name of any game ever released in the history of mankind. But it sounds interesting, like it's got real potential. Football mixed with worms, landmines, explosives, that sounds like it could be fun. Let's see if it actually is. Alright, to the championship. Choose the kit. Alright, so I assume I start by picking a nationality. I... Wait... Oh, you can actually pick England. But what? No, I clicked England. No, this this isn't England. Oh, so I can be Scotland, but I'm not allowed to be the British Isles. I, 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 I <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's not even the same flag as the one that I clicked. Let's try the other flags. Are they actually the same? Yeah, everything else is the same. But Lord knows you can't click the English flag because it becomes the... Well, I'd say the Union Jack, but that's only once on a boat. You get the idea. <laughs> How come Scotland gets its own flag? God, abject racism. Okay, well, all of these are locked, which include hats. So I guess I can't have that. Never mind. Well, I am now England. <laughs> Let us begin. What skills would I like? I assume these are landmines. I don't know because the game has no tooltips. So I'm going to make a blind assumption. Let us begin. Achieve victory before the end of the match, it says in bright, big, bold, pixely text. Okay. Obstruct your enemy numbers, your opponents, and help your members. All right, okay, yep, that sounds reasonable. So we have no direct control. Key one doesn't work. So I guess we're going to click it. Use it on the goalkeeper. All right. All right, well, that's kind of amusing. N now will it work? Now it works. Okay, good. Glad to see that. So screw over the other guys. Also possibly mine. He's buried in the grass. That's unfortunate, isn't it? All right, go. Go, yes. I am the best footballs. They didn't even... 
They ran out of space for League. League is not spelled that way. I am the best. I'm not even doing anything. This is brilliant. I, I am just a god of football. One might say a lord of football. That's a possibility. Alright, so basically I click and the goalkeeper explodes. Which, to be fair, is a skill that I would imagine a great many <laughs> football teams would like to have. Oh, Freesound. That's actually a really good website. I can't imagine why they're advertising it, but that's okay. So, I guess I can just keep clicking on them. I, I have a bazillion landmines, so... Well, I am the best at football. I think once I get more items, this actually might be interesting. Obviously, as it stands, it's it's kind of stupid because I barely have any items whatsoever. But we'll see. It's an interesting idea, I suppose. All right, kick it. There we go. Uh, there is multiplayer as well, so I've been told. So I, I find it highly unlikely anyone's actually playing it, but... 7-0, oh, 7 oh, or something along those lines. I won the footers balls. You see, how come they get the English flags? That's the hooligans. They're going to go beat people up with bricks after the match. I know, I come from that country. All right, I will pick a skill. There we go. I've used a skill point, so I can now, I assume, have... Now add even more. Uh, why can't I pick the shield? You give him the shield. It's like, no, get, take more mines. I don't want more mines. Okay, I right, I see. So you get 20 sets every time. I don't think you need that many. All right, two sets of shields. Okay, fantastic. Now, if I unlock 500 more, I can get the top hats and fulfill my stereotypical nature. All right, let us achieve victory. Here we go. Yes, I got the idea in the first place. They blew me up. How dare they do such a thing? All right, use shields. Okay, so the hotkeys do work. And they also have jerseys which look very similar to mine, which is really unhelpful. <laughs> Why on earth would they... Why did I shield him? That wasn't very smart, was it? Not really. I mean, this is kind of amusing, I suppose. I, I, can, I can see this going the right way. I shielded him, though, and that's, that's not a very smart thing to do. Also, this guy doesn't appear to know how to play football. He kicked it right at my goal, which is not where he wants to go, yeah, bastard! Ref's blind. Confirmed. I love how they just clip into the ground. <laughs> uh, yep, something went horribly wrong. You see, this is one of those games that's deliberately bad. Although, funnily enough, it's actually, at least in some ways, bad in a kind of funny way that suits the game. Well, I just lost to Germany. And I'm pretty sure that is not what Germany's jersey looks like. That's with the background. Here's the World Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing in what appears to be a quarry. All right, let's try that one again. Oh, great. We built a proper stadium this time around. That's wonderful. Now I'm against Scotland. Excellent. Yes. I heard you the first time. So I guess I can probably just spam this for the most part. Outside of kind of preemptively helping my team, it's not like you can place the shield before the, la the actual mine lands, so it's more of a case of just do it randomly and hope for the best. Keep your goalkeeper shielded, because that's probably going to be the most important. You can actually blow the ball around as well, which is kind of neat. The physics interactions are not awful. <coughs> they kind of work the way that I would have hoped. <coughs> Kick it in, there you go. Come on, my son. No, don't do that. That is against the rules of the footballs. Get off. Oh, cool. You can actually place landmines on the ground as well at random for players to run into. Which I'm sure is very useful. I wonder if your own players run into that. Probably. There you go. I'm defending my balls. High quality humor, of course, expected. And $500. For my English team, which is a highly disappointing amount of money. He's adjusting. Alright. Unlock the sodding hat. Excellent. Good. Now it can be horribly stereotypical. No, I don't really want to do that. Alright, I now have speed boost. I'll get one set of shields. Oh, ah, okay. So I'm actually now really limited. Let's just spam speed boost and hope for the best. Let's see what happens there. 
I don't know what my opponent's skills are because it doesn't tell me. All right. This is not a game that is high quality. <laughs> well, I think we can be blindingly obvious. Oh, I shielded him. That was not particularly fast. All right, here you go. Have some speed. Have some speed. There you go. That's what I like to see. My goalkeeper is absolutely useless. Look at this. Look at him! Look at He's right there! He's right there! How did he not see that coming? It was about moving up five miles an hour. It's not that difficult. I, I think the speed strategy was a bad one. Because my goalkeeper's a wanker. All right. Go on. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Yes, he was right there! Ugh. This is how I imagine football manager is played. Not that I would know, because I don't. There's also some kind of camera option here. It slightly zooms you out. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but hey. There we go. I have no idea what that flag is, and that embarrasses me. I was never good at geography. You ask me anything about the world, and I will tell you the wrong place. Like, until a few days ago, I believe Czechoslovakia still existed, for instance. Which, as it turns out, was not true, and I was extremely embarrassed. Go on, get it in! Get it in! This is my hard-hitting critique of this title. Get it in. I, again, a really interesting idea, you know, indirect control kind of influenced the game through power-ups, basically, and wacky stuff. So far, though, like, there's a severe lack of nifty, wacky stuff that you can use, which is not particularly great. Uh, there are a lot of unlockables. I mean, it looks like there's a flat cannon in there somewhere, which could be very interesting. But in order to get to that point, I apparently have to go through this boring nonsense first. Takes a little while to get going. Yeah. Oh, I, it's it's not terrible. In, not ent entirely terrible. I want to see how the multiplayer works, if it even does. Go on, outspeed him. Go on, get him. Just, ugh. Well, you, you're bloody useless. Can I, is there a power-up that lets me fire my goalie? Because holy crap. I used to be a goalkeeper back in the day, and I was terrible, but I wasn't as bad as that guy. I at least tried. To be fair. Oh, there's in the stands. That's unfortunate. Big has got the ball, passes it to number seven in the back of the net. Football commentary is very easy if you had not already guessed. Starcraft commentary, far harder. In the back of the net. My inner British is coming out, and I'm trying to repress it. That's probably for the best, trust me. Ah. Uh, well, it's kind of terrible. It it has its moments, though. <laughs> it, it is kind of amusing just blowing up football players. I suppose that's just been a real fantasy of mine at some point. What can I say? I had a troubled childhood, but... I, I do like the idea that you can place landmines that actually... Well, obviously not at that angle, but fire the ball back in the other direction. There's actually a reasonable amount of skill involved in that. And probably later on in the game, I think that this gets much more interesting. Bloody shields. Well, I won 9-2. So that's not bad. There we go. That's not terrible. Why would you name your game this, though? Hey. I, and this, this is kind of annoying as well, I gotta say. All oh, right. Okay. So we're going to not progress your skills in any way. We're going to stick you on three skills for like three matches. Oh, you know, don't worry about the really interesting stuff. We're going to get to that eventually, just not now. That isn't that isn't even a real flag. That's that's not a real team. I refuse to believe it. It might be North Korea. Possibly. Probably isn't. There we go. So what you can do is you can shield the player and then drop a landmine on your own guy, which gives you victory! The matches are over in about a minute, which kind of gives me the idea that this was a mobile game originally. It seems like it was the sort of thing that was designed for that. Why could they not even finish the word? Like, yep, sorry guys, we don't know how to resize fonts. This is all over. We tried. <laughs> we tried our best. Oh my. The ball's still there as well. That's highly unrealistic. Yeah, this probably would have its moments, but 
I think yeah, it's it's an issue of pacing. You've kind of you've got to you've really got to get people hooked in on the absurdity of a game like this very very quickly. And I think giving you shield, mine, and speed is not the best way of doing that. It mentions that I think a counter to mine is cows. Get the cows in there earlier. Make it obvious that the title is ridiculous, absurd, and funny. Make that abundantly clear from the very start and then you will have a better time of it you know i think with a game like this you've got to get people hooked in very fast uh, you've got to really be able to explain what the game is very quickly and get them hooked in and say to them look look, look at the potential that this thing has but still yeah I, i've got to wait until level seven to get my next power this one's level 57 I have a load of cash. Is there any way that I can unlock things faster? I don't know what any of these are. It, well, that'll, uh, that looks like it'll unlock an extra thing, but I can't accelerate the rate at which I acquire new stuff. That, I assume, gives me more... Yeah, more income. 10% more skill points, plus one skill slot, plus one skill point. Plus 5% player speed, plus 5% player accuracy. But you don't let me spend my coins to unlock the things I actually want, which are the bloody skills! Oh my, why, 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 why? Silly, silly, silly. Yeah, and that's, that's fine. I can, I can do that, but... Still. Yeah, you unlock skills at way too slow a pace. And I guess it really comes down to the fact that, the, yeah, these matches can be beaten in about a minute, but you're kind of loath to keep doing it without that progression being there. I think you need to be constantly drip-fed a set of new stuff. And if you aren't, then that's the point where you just get... You get to the point of saying, Ugh, well, you know, this is, this is dull and stupid and I shouldn't be playing it. Honestly, I have so many shields, I can probably just shield almost all of my team members for a significant amount of time. I ideally hope that, one, there is online multiplayer, and secondly, there's someone actually playing it. Because I think, actually, this would be decent fun with everything unlocked. And usually in the multiplayer, you would have everything unlocked. Now my goalie actually knows what he's doing, which is just lovely. Almost knows what he's doing. Kind of knows what he's doing, maybe. He's got a shield. There we go. Because we can try that, and that might be the way to go. And then maybe we can see how it looks after you get a bunch of powers, things like that. Uh, if I was just to criticize assets, I mean, the game looks like crap, there's no doubt about it. But that's not necessarily important. As I've said before, you know, one of my favorite games this year so far has been One Finger Death Punch, which also looks like, well... I wouldn't say it looks like crap per se, because it, it, it does the job, yeah? The graphic style is effective for what it is. I think in this case it is as well, you know? It conveys... It, it doesn't really reduce your enjoyment of the game in any way. It conveys the absurdity of the whole nature of the title, and it does... Having these 2D characters just being flung all over the place. Oh, did I actually have to let them score? That's bollocks! Well, that's illegal, for one thing. Jeez. Illegitimacy. Let's see if I can actually get any multiplayer. I thought it was like a minimum of 2-1. Apparently, no, it was actually 2-1. Let's have a look at the multiplayer then. Let's see if this actually works online. Play with a friend or random game. Okay. No, you jackasses. You've got to unlock everything. Otherwise, it's completely imbalanced. So what happens when someone goes all the way down here and has access to bloody flat cannons, bombers, and everything else, and all I've got are bloody landmines and shields? Yes, silly bastards. Ah. Uh. Mmm. I can try it. I can try it, but... I doubt there's even anyone playing it, so... We'll give it a try. But that's stupid, yeah. Unlock everything, because that's the only way it ends up being balanced in the first place. If I run into someone that's got everything unlocked and can have more skills than me, more skill points than me, more stock than me, then how on earth are you supposed to balance that? And I suppose there's a possibility that it match makes you up with people of a similar level, but I doubt there's even enough players to do that effectively. I mean, no one is playing this by the looks of it. I don't know why I'm surprised. Huh. <sighs> 
yeah, nice concept, but you really have to get people into it much quicker in order to interest people. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a bunch more of it. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to give you my... Let's try again. I'm going to give you that final assessment based on the game with some actual interesting stuff unlocked. So I will be right back. All right, I've cracked a little bit further into the game and I've unlocked some more powers, but man, they really do lock the really interesting stuff way down here. And frankly, I do not have the patience to get there, which is a shame. If they even tossed a few other things like the Spartan is apparently at level 28. Shift the goalpost is a cannon at level 31. I don't have the patience to get there, I'm going to be honest. That's a real shame. I think if they'd mix this up a little bit, then that would be better. But I do have a few things like clone so I can make more balls for the field, which is always nice. Block, which is basically a Protoss force field. And you also have this sticky goo as well. And I've unlocked another slot here, so... I'd like to show you one level that I actually found particularly fun, because they... They change things around. In fact, I'm not going to put the clones in here, and you're going to see why in a minute. I'll put another one of those in there. And we'll grab some goo as well, why not? This level's actually quite fun. What they did was... They moved the goalposts to the other side, and then they put this giant trophy, which keeps spawning balls, which is quite funny. And hopefully the rest of the game has more interesting and original stuff like that. Because if it does, then that's absolutely fantastic. There you go. Force fields, I told you, it's Protoss all over this nonsense. So, what have I noticed during my play? So, there's a couple of inherent issues that the game has, I feel. The first one is it's possible to get so far ahead that you might as well stop playing past a certain point. You just sit there letting the rest of the match play out because it's almost impossible for you to lose. Yeah? <laughs> this is one of those levels where anything can happen, but it is pretty simple. The AI is not that smart, so more often than not, it's not going to use its powers intelligently, assuming it has any at all. So you're just going to be able to absolutely stomp them into the floor, at which point you might as well just sit back and let the game play itself, which is never a good idea. The second problem is if you use up too many of your powers and you've run out of them, then again, you have to just sit there and watch the rest of the game play out, which seems a little silly. Now, you could argue that it's sensible to be more conservative with your powers to make sure that doesn't happen, and that's an element of the game. Okay, I get that, but you should at least have, be able to have some influence on the game. Maybe slowly recharge some of the powers or something like that, just to at least give you something to do. As you're already very much this, I wouldn't even say benevolent god, this <laughs> malignant and malevolent god who is ruining a perfectly nice Sunday game of football. But you've got no involvement once you run out of powers. So I think that's an inherent problem with it. All right. Let's grab a couple more of these. We'll go with the clone balls here just because it'll be fun. And the, I think the landmines are almost indispensable at this point until you get a counter power because they're just so good. Uh, you can use it to... All right. You can... Oh, you can actually change modes. Interesting. Ah, well, that's new. Didn't know that that was the case. Can I? All right, so you can switch between defense and offense. That's kind of neat. Uh, so at least you have a, a, a tiny little bit of power. Here's a bunch more balls. <laughs> Makes the, the game a lot more interesting. Put down some force fields. Blow up the players. There we go. I think, right. I think with this game, you will actually have a lot of fun with it if you can somehow find people to play multiplayer. As it stands, there's basically no one that's playing it. And there might never be. If you can get friends... It might be fun, but again, the problem is that you've got to get those friends to go through the motions of unlocking like 40 levels worth of content, which they're probably not going to want to do. So, if I had any suggestion for the devs whatsoever, it's unlock the damn content from the start with the multiplayer mode, and then I think you can sell it on the basis of the multiplayer. Don't, uh, don't make a mistake, the game is crappy, but the game's ideas are interesting. Some of them don't work very well, but it's an amusing game nonetheless, and it would be particularly funny when played with friends. But friends are not going to play it if they don't have the cows and the Spartans and the airstrikes and everything unlocked. Because honestly, Sticky Goo, Speed, Shield, Landmine, these are not particularly interesting powers. And these are the kind of things that 
would be better suited to be kind of added in the middle as utility stuff rather than at the very start because outside of landmines really none of the powers are all that fun to use and it can certainly be frustrating watching your ai guys just bumble around the field you can slightly improve things like the accuracy by spending money on unlocks but yeah it's it definitely has plenty of problems but i think the idea is interesting enough to warrant certainly picking it up on a sale i mean right now it's three dollars fifty it's gonna be five dollars i think honestly it's it's probably too crappy to justify that but when it goes on its inevitable bundle or 75 percent off sale for a dollar get a few friends together and you'll have a laugh maybe at that point there'll also be some kind of cheat unlock which can unlock all the powers for multiplayer for you Ooh, meteor finally uh, something that might be interesting there we go let's let's go with that and yeah, all right, cool. So finally, we've got something that might be amusing. It's a cool idea, honestly. Its production values are nothing short of abysmal, but they do the job you know, in a, again, kind of a similar way to a title like, say, One Finger Death Punch. There's the meteors. This is fun. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard to argue against that. It's just a shame that production's value, production values-wise, it's just terrible. And honestly, like, the name. The name. What what are you trying to do here? Is is it PewDiePie? I mean, I have to ask. Is that what it was designed to do? Just to get people interested solely on the stupid name? Because I think you're going to put more people off than you will get interested. Now, unless your target demographic is 10 years old. And let me put it this way. 10-year-olds, pretty bad target demographic when you're asking for money doesn't tend to work very well foot lol epic fail league i i just i feel sick even saying that it has some good ideas honestly i'd like to see a, a better version of it that's patched and improved and doesn't have a terrible name and then maybe then yeah i could probably recommend it as it stands, it probably has a few too many design problems to really be a justifiable purchase, at least at opening price. But maybe later on that won't be the case. And maybe there will be a way of unlocking all the powers so you can actually play this multiplayer where I think it would actually shine. Instead of against the AI where, frankly, it's not that interesting. One other criticism I would have, some of the matches have sub-objectives, and some of the matches also have objectives as well. Like, you've got to win 3-0, or win 3-2, which is, like, the worst thing, because you've got to rely on the AI team to actually score goals, which it more often than not doesn't do. You can actually break that entirely by just restarting the map over and over again, and it will generate a different objective until you find one that's preferential, like 1-0, which is, you know, a really easy way to do it, and you can usually win very, very fast. Here, I'm obviously going to draw, but there you go. So that's maybe something they could probably fix because that's very easily exploitable. That and options many that make sense would be good. So yes, it feels distinctly amateurish. Uh, some people are going to object to the fact that they're even charging money for this. But it has some good ideas and with friends it would be fun. And I mean that in a sincere way, not in a kind of Borderlands way where everything is just fun with friends. Playing against a real person would make this game more enjoyable, quantifiably more enjoyable. And if you had access to everything, picking builds and counter builds and all sorts of things like that, yeah, yeah, I could see this being fun. Here's hoping they patch that stuff in. And if they do, and it goes on sale, sure, why not? If you want a bit of dumb fun, it's good for a laugh. Change this name, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Footlol, Epic Fail League, available currently on Steam. It's also on Desura, and even Big Fish Games has it, which is that site I was talking about that had all of the weird hidden object games. Very strange. $5, $3.50 during its launch week sale. My name has been Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.